Welcome to the Prayer Motivator with Daniel White III as he encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Good morning and welcome to the Prayer Motivator Minute. The main purpose of this simple broadcast is to motivate you and encourage you to pray. Because if I can get you to pray, all sorts of wonderful things will begin to happen for you, your family, and whatever God has called you to do. We do not pray, dear friend, based upon our subjective feelings. Rather, we pray based upon objective facts, based upon the Word of God. Today, I'm going to talk about how prayer to God brings help. How prayer to God brings help. Our prayer motivator verse for today is John fourteen, thirteen through 14, uh, which says, And whatsoever ye ask, or rather shall ask, in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Our prayer motivator quote for today is from E.M. Bounds, who is one of the men God used to impact my life on this important matter of prayer. He said these words, Prayer is the greatest of all forces because it honors God and brings him into active aid. I want to repeat that. He said, prayer is the greatest of all forces because it honors God and brings God into active aid. In other words, God uh, hears our prayers and he uh, delivers us by helping us. Now, friend, I am going to at this time to pray for three groups of people. The first group of people are people who have submitted prayer requests through our ministry. In other words, they need help. Uh, and uh, we are going to pray for them. And as I have shared with you, if you have any prayer requests, please uh, email us and we will pray for you by name. Secondly, uh, or the second group of people that we're going to pray for are those who have recently accepted uh, Jesus Christ into their hearts through our ministry, Gospel Light Society. And we uh, praise the Lord uh, for the first time, uh, I believe, in a 24-hour period. We have seen the three people come to know the Lord. And uh, we give the God the glory, praise, and honor uh, for that. Please join me in prayer also for those who have recommitted their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father God, we pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for your mercy, love, and grace. We thank you most of all for your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, was buried and rose again. Thank you, Lord, for saving those of us who are saved, and we pray that you would save those who are lost around us. Help us to be the shining lights and witnesses that you would have us to be. Now, Lord, specifically, we come before your throne of grace to pray for M.M. She wants us to pray for her. Uh, and we pray, Lord, that you would uh, intervene and restore her marriage, forgive her of her sins, and mold her into the wife that her husband needs and deserves. Lord, we also pray for Paul, deliver Paul and his wife from their financial nightmare and from a nervous breakdown. Give them a financial miracle so they can continue running their restaurant. Holy Father God, we pray for Katerina, lead and guide her in her relationship with Dijon M, improve their relationship and have it to be according to your will. Lord, we pray for Phyllis Barnes Lawler. Give her husband, Wayne, a spirit-filled, 
on fire Holy Spirit revival where he uh, thirsts and hungers for you. Lord, we pray for Sheila Benavides. Uh, have her ministry to flourish and put people in her path to begin what you have put in her heart. Lord, we pray for Calvin and Bull Furman. We pray for their salvation today. And Holy Father God, we pray for Shirley Moham. Help her to follow you and give her victory in her health and law procedures. Lord, we pray today for Annie Williams. Please reveal the right person for her to give her book to in the North American uh, Mission Board. Lord, we pray for Rose S. Elian. Deliver her and her family from trouble. We pray for the healing of her sickness as well. We pray for Ivan Mashanji. Help him in coming to know the scriptures more and deliver him from bankruptcy. We pray for Ivan also that you would be with him as he begins a new life in you uh, in, there in Uganda. Holy Father God, we pray for the following people who have accepted you in their hearts. We pray, Lord, that you would confirm them in the faith, strengthen them in the faith, and have them to grow in the faith to become the spirit-filled Christians that you want them to be. We pray specifically for Cyrus Larubi in Kenya, Joshua Artori in Kenya, Niabaga Mabea in Kenya, Keith Marubi in Kenya, Smith Osaka in Kenya, Ivani Karubo in Kenya, uh, Margaret Mora in Kenya, Sophia Kamunto in Kenya, Evelyn Marubi in Kenya, and Atara Niamora in Kenya as well. We pray that, that Lord, you would strengthen these uh, in their newfound faith and help them to grow in the grace and knowledge of, of you and, and help us to be the disciples, Lord, that you want us to be for them. Uh, uh, help us rather to disciple them in the way that we should. Uh, now, Lord, we pray for the following people who have been saved for a while, but who have recommitted their lives to you uh, at this time. We, pr we pray for them and we rejoice with them in this decision and we pray that they will keep their commitments to you and be strengthened in the faith uh, and Lord help us to be the encouragement that we need to be to them we pray specifically for Negesa Pius in Kenya Paul Rogers in Arizona Shirley Prince in Columbia South Carolina Melanie in Kansas Matian in South Africa Eric Sang. Uh, Shingium in South Africa, Akoshua in Ghana, Ismeralda in South Africa, and Alubakola in Nigeria. Dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast today and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please notice these uh, verses with me. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, and 13 that if you shall confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God have raised him, Jesus Christ, from the dead, thou, you, shall be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Friend of mine, if you are willing to trust Christ as your Savior today, <clears throat> please pray with me the following prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner. For Jesus Christ's sake, please come into my heart and save my soul. Please forgive me of all of my sins and change my life. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save me today and use me for your glory. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray and for his sake. Amen. Remember, friend, pray, thank, do. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Prayer Motivator with Daniel White III. If you would like for us to pray for you, please send your prayer request to gls at gospellightsociety.com. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on bcnnradio7.com, buzzsprout.com, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and Live 365. 
Tell your friends and family to tune in and discover the power of prayer. God bless.